Sandra, will you just give me a minute to explain? Get out of here, Rob. Go to bloody Tanya's or whatever her name is. Tanya? I don't know anyone called Tanya. Is that a man or a woman? Oh, don't try and deny it, Rob. Dale told me all about the two of you. Well, he was lying. She worked for the... Lovely evening, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but they're roses. Stuff the roses. Cat, if you just calm down for one minute, you'd realise that this has all been a big mistake. Our marriage is a big mistake. Cat, we always said if we had a problem, we would sit down oh, and... Oh, just bugger off! Tell her. Well, I had to, Rodney, to save her from any pain. Well, what about me? She just whacked me in a ship with a badminton racket. Yeah, don't you raise your voice. And... It's gone, midnight. We'll go back to bed then. <laughs> all right. Well, yeah. Just calm yourself down. Just calm yourself down, right? You, you of all people, grasp me up. And you grasped me out for something I didn't even do. Have you any idea what Cassandra's reaction would have been if she'd seen you with that Tanya salt? Yes. She just gave me a bloody good example of it. I wasn't going to take Tanya out. I changed my mind before I got to the bottom of the lift. I just made a stupid threat out of anger and frustration. You said... I know what I said. But there's a world of difference between saying and doing, isn't there? If I'd gone to the police every time you said you were going to kill me, you'd still be slopping out in Parkhurst. <laughs> well, thanks to you, my wife now thinks I'm having a passionate affair with a siren of the exhaust centre, and you've offended my neighbours. People are trying to sleep. Shut up! <laughs> calm down. Just calm down, all right? All right. Fair enough. I'll be sorry. Sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. Look, is there anything I can do to help? Yes, piss off! <laughs> you just listen to me, you ungrateful little dipstick. I struggled over in the middle of the night just to help you. And I was on a promise. <laughs> you listen to me. I don't want your help. I don't want your favours, your assistance, or your advice. I don't want nothing off you for the rest of my life. I was only trying to do the best for Cassandra and you. Yeah, and to make sure you got all that printing done on the cheap. <laughs> you don't really believe that, do you, Rodney? Probably not. See you.